Welcome back to New England Living. I'm Rachel Holt. Up next, we're heading to Weston, Vermont to meet the family behind one of the state's most recognized general stores. The Vermont Country Store has been around since 1946, so let's go back to the very beginning. Lyman, this was started by your parents. My father and mother, Vrest and Mildred Orton, started in 1946 and was from the memories my father had of growing up in his father's store in North Callis, Vermont. He started out with a catalog and put the catalog out, the Vermont Country Store. But people started writing in, saying, we'll be up this summer to come to the store. Well, they hadn't had a store yet, so they bought the building and scurried around and put the store together. And by summer of 46, he was in business. For you, seeing your grandparents do this and now doing it with dad, what has that been like? It doesn't feel like it's, it's work, it's what we do. We grew up in the store and it's just so fun to be working together and be storekeepers together. It's helped us to stay connected and to stay connected around this business that we all grew up in and around. It's really a dream to be able to do this together and for Elliot and I and our older brother Cabot to be able to carry on the legacy and, and the business that our grandfather started. It's really special. You could spend hours and hours in that store. Describe the different sections for us. Well, the front of the store has always been where we've had the penny candy, potbelly stove, a lot of our food items. Come back through the store, we have a whole toy department. We have a housewares department. We have a, we call it our apothecary department, but it's really a lot of our soaps and all of our personal care items. We have a household section with cleaning items and a bathtub full of real cedar balls that you can put in your drawer to keep the moths away. We have a women's clothing section, a men's clothing section. We sort of have it all and we're in a town of 600 people in a really rural part of Vermont. We've grown for the last almost 75 years now. We needed more space, we'd add on another building or another barn and we just kept adding more and more. Come on in. Coming into our stores is an is a experience of sort of magic discovery that people have, because you look around and you go, oh my gosh, there's all this stuff. Where do I go? What do I look at? That's, I didn't know they still made that. That's one of the most frequent comments I hear in the store. I didn't know they still made that. So that's really cool because that's, you know, discovery, and they love that. Lyman, in case anyone doubted your love of Vermont, which they're not, you have a book titled For the Love of Vermont. What was your inspiration for writing that? It's called For the Love of Vermont, the Lyman Orton Collection, and it's a book about my collection of the art of Vermont. There's all these artists who are in the finest museums across America who spent most of their lives in Vermont, and so I wanted to keep their art here for the benefit of, in the future, of Vermonters to be able to see and visitors to see. And also, I'm in the business of repatriating Vermont art, art that's flown the coop, that may be anywhere in the country, and then I try to find that and bring it home and get it back to Vermont. It's gonna be in the Southern Vermont Art Center and the Bennington Museum. This will be the first time in over 90 years that these artists, their work has been put together and shown. What's that feeling knowing that you've really become such a destination for people visiting the state? We're doing this for the love of our customers, for the love of, of Vermont to carry on this tradition. It's just so much fun. You know, I think it's fun for our, also really for our employees. It's a family business of our family, but it's a family also of employees who many of them now are generations on in their family working in the Vermont Country Store and that's the best part and then having customers also come in for generations. On Monday this week we had a customer come in and she identified herself in a photo in the store that was taken in the 1950s and said I come every five years and that's me when I was a little girl in your store and it's just it's incredible to have those memories and those connections. We have customers that come here from all over the country and even all over the world. They get our catalog and they sort of view Vermont through the lens of the catalog, but then they come here to the store, they come here to Vermont, and I think for us we really enjoy getting to share that with them and to talk about what makes Vermont special to us. Talking about that customer experience, this is obviously a very special place for a lot of people. What's your hope when they walk away from here? 
they tell their friends and I hope that they come back. I hope that it was better than they expected, that they come away blown away and that it was more fun than they could have imagined. Coming up next, a Southern Vermont theater company celebrating the arts and the community. When New England Living returns after this.